businesses and other institutions, big or small, face very complex challenges related to digital transformation and globalization. What is the best way to adapt while preserving their staff? We discuss it with the academic facilitators of the HEC program called Global Organizations Executive Coaching. Mathilde Guillou and Sabine Heinrich Pfizer, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Mathilde Guillou, you are the pedagogic director of the program and coach of organizations. First of all, how can startup and larger companies go their own way in face of such challenges? Startups and big organizations are facing different challenges, but they do face uh, sometimes same difficulties about untapped uh, human assets and the way they approach uh, challenges. So uh, we believe that a more systemic approach mm -hmm. uh, with a deeper reflection on uh, human uh, transformation is uh, some new foundations that need to be raised again. Um, Sabine Heinrich Preiser, you are coach of uh, organization and you stress that today's organization are thriving in a world marked by volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity, you call it VUCA. Yes. Uh, how can they deal with that? Uh, the VUCA world is the new world and in fact it's a great invitation for organizations and their leaders to reinvent themselves. The question will be how to reinvent. I think in my experience, in our experience, it will be the inspiring purpose, search for meaningful relations and the art of managing energies, individual and collective energies, which will be at the core of reinventing organizations. And uh, the approach of organizational coaching, finally, is a fundamental new invitation to organizations and leaders to experience and to co-create with others mm -hmm. uh, transformation coming within the organization, which is a really new way of, of learning and managing. Mm -hmm. And Mathilde, you, uh, what, what types of innovation do you recommend to implement uh, in order to address the complex situations that you have described? In our work, I think we try to open spaces, uh, safe spaces, uh, to rethink, re-question uh, what is the sense of purpose and what is the sense of meaning of people being gathered in either big organizations or small organizations. Mm -hmm. And we do hold a space for that, mm -hmm. uh, where um, they can uh, re-propose uh, new ideas or uh, challenges that they have never faced, but they we are willing to face now. And they leverage other assets mm -hmm. that they may not have mobilized so far. So this is, I think, what we try to innovate by those places. Mm -hmm. And finally, Sabine Heinrich Freise, uh, how does the company identify that there is a need uh, for coaching related to this complexity and how the company can start with it? Yes, this is a real interesting and th in fact a very good question. Since organizations like Living Systems will thrive in the flow of permanent transformation, the needs and demands are everywhere. The real question is not whether there are demands, but the question is how will leaders seize the emerging demands and act on them instead of sticking to the illusion of security, of budget, of business plans and of project plans. So there is this real way of the demands are everywhere. The real question will be how to seize them and to act for reinventing relationships. Mathilde Guillou and Sabine Heinrich Freiser, thank you very much for your answers about your activity of coaching organizations. Thank, Thank you very you. much.